Well, good afternoon. This is Fancy Nancy from FancyNancyStamps.com. I want to welcome you to my studio today. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm about five minutes late. <sighs> For some reason, Facebook didn't agree with me today, so we just had to play the game and get through it. But today, let me tell you, first of all, many of you know that today is my first summer shenanigans drawing, and I can't wait to do that. But that comes after the card, so you have to hang in there with me. Um, today, we're going to make a card using last month's paper pumpkin, and I can't wait to do that. But before we start that, let me just remind you that um, this Wednesday, tomorrow, is the last day to sign up for my online card class. That's a subscription service. Uh, it comes to you once a month uh, with... Uh, 20 to 25 dollars worth of stamp and product as well as a kit to make eight cards to each of four designs I work really hard each month to make them beautiful cards that you want to send and other people want to receive um, This month uh, we're playing a lot with memories and more and so it's going to be a kind of a fun um, class to participate in uh, and I guarantee you you'll really enjoy it it will ship on the last Friday of the month. I believe that's a week from Friday. And um, I'm ready to go. I think it's going to be wonderful. Um, the cost of that uh, subscription service is $36 a month. Now you may say, gosh, I don't know what kind of cards Fancy Nancy makes. And that's just all right. You can sign up for a one month a test drive if you want. And that's $40. And you can decide if this is for you. I hope you'll stick with me and join the subscription. Uh, you That means you stay enrolled until you decide it's time to unsubscribe. And uh, again, I really respect that too. We all have a time and a place for the things we love to do. So you can hop over to my blog, which is found at www.fancynancystamps.com forward slash blog, and you will find all the information you need on the on my on my clubs. And so please feel free to check it out um, and just see what's happening over there. While you're there, you might want to sign up for my email list because uh, every month I send out a brief uh, synopsis of what's happening in the studio. In, in other words, face-to-face -face classes, but also my um, classes that are online. I also will let you know about upcoming specials and things that are happening, including the summer shenanigans business we're drawing for today which I'll give you more information shortly. Um, but there's lots happening and um, we wanna be a fun place to go and we wanna be a crafty place to go. So hopefully you will join me. So let's just get going on this card. So we've got plenty of time for fun in a few minutes. And so I'm just going to get you all set up here. Um, there we go. Alrighty, we are going to be using this particular paper pumpkin. And from this paper pumpkin, I have chosen a few items that we are going to use. We are going to use the Bumblebee um, card base. We are going to use this beautiful piece of vellum that has the, obviously it's printed with white leaves. We are going to use, I love these pieces, this um, piece of, it looks like it's alcohol washed. It's just beautiful for our, our item. We're going to use um, kind of the label that was provided in the kit. We are also going to use this twine. And what I have done is I have cut three equal pieces of twine. And I'll show you what we'll do with that in just a few minutes. But I also, oh, and I should tell you, we're going to use, this is the reusable set of stamps that comes every month in your kit and it's something you really they're invaluable many of these are not um, for instance sentiments that we have in our other sets so it's just a great thing to keep uh, in your file system and I particularly loved this one so we will be trying a few things out I have also um, taken it's hard for you to see those I don't see if I can get that quite right the jewels that are the the in colors for this year and I am going to be using these evergreen ones right here before we're done I have also taken the uh, artistry um, mm, artistic artistically uh, why do I write mess that one up 
but anyway they're they're called the artistic dies and I used this one this big one and I um, cut out a design that we'll be using on this so that's coming up huh is there anything else I can tell you oh I'm also using this uh, stamp set again it's a retired set but for me it's all about are these really usable sentiments that I that go on and on for me and I unfortunately make lots and lots of sympathy cards uh, for members of our church as well as my husband's business um, involves a lot of older uh, people and unfortunately we have deaths in that population so I'm always busy making those cards so I, I really hang on to that one we're going to be using in colors extraordinaire we're going to use fresh freesia we're going to use bumblebee which was the last year color uh, evening evergreen one this year and also this is my color of the month in my in color club soft succulent also an in color and polished pink oh boy we have lots of stuff here who I have to show you guys something because I think it's so cool and you're gonna want one check this out is this not the coolest thing to put our brushes in our little um, ink and a uh, one of my downline, her brother-in-law, created this using his 3D printer. Is this cool or what? I mean, I've just found so many great uses for it, so I had to show it off because it's just beyond wonderful. Alrighty, so we're ready. We're going to start. Make sure I have everything I need around me so we can get moving. So let's start with our uh, Bumblebee card base. I want to fold it. I want to use my uh, bone folder and make sure I get a nice crisp fold. And I also want to go ahead, I'm going to work on the inside first. And so from this set of stamps, I am going to pull the floral image that looks an awful lot like the one I'm going to put on the front in the way of a, a die cut. So let's just open this up. I have got a block here. I've been trying to decide what color I was going to stamp this particular. And I think I've decided on Bumblebee. The decisions, decisions. You know, I make these on the fly. I do these. I have an idea in my head when we start, but I haven't, I haven't got it all together until we actually start making it. And if I make it a second time, sometimes I make it different. But I just wanted to make sure that I have. Oh yeah, I like that very much. And then using my Evening Evergreen, I'm going to do my sentiment. But my sentiment, if I can find it here, um, it's sending comforting hugs and healing prayers. So sorry for your loss. The only thing that I want on the back is the sending um, comforting hugs and healing prayers and I have to tell you it's really cool in my downstairs and these are the old cling stamps and they don't always hold well when it's cool and so please don't laugh but I'm going to heat it up just ever so slightly with my um, heating tool just so it gets sticky and stays on that block better feeling good. I learned that little trick at convention a couple years ago before we had our nice really great clingy ones. So remember I'm just doing the sending um, comforting hugs and the reason you'll see soon what my reason is. I love everything about this stamp and I'm going to use it all but just not all at the very first. I wanted to make sure I had everything in front of me. Sometimes you just start thinking So today I worked on my In Color Club and my In Color Club goes out on Friday, this Friday. And I have to tell you, this month the In Color Club is uh, Evening Evergreen and the stamp set that I used was Plentiful Plants. Yep, that's what I wanted, very good. All right, so now I can kind of just put this aside here 
but I want to wash this because I'm going to use it again and I want to give it time to dry. So I'm going to use my chamois, which hopes I'm going to have to heat it up again too. Um, is like my most favorite thing. I need to make sure I get it all cleaned off so it doesn't make a mess. Alrighty. And I'm not going to heat it again until I'm ready to use it. All right. So the next thing I think I want to do is I want to put this really pretty piece of, of uh, vellum here. The problem that I now encounter is that vellum is one of those things that when you put lots of adhesives on it, it shows. And so I really have to put my adhesives behind this pretty die cut I'm gonna put on there. So I think what I will do is I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna use the little dots we get in our kit because I think that will be like the best thing I could use. And I'm gonna put them kind of in a square here in the center. Because I don't think they'll show much there. These little doodads are... First time I encountered them on the very first kit, I thought, what in the world? But you know what? When you're camping and you don't have everything you need, these little glue dots are the best. And believe it or not, I keep the leftover ones in the drawer in the in the trailer. So I'm always ready. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of center it onto the um, Bumblebee <clears throat> card base. And I wanna tell you, this is printed in such a way that the white does show up best on one, one side better than another. So. I kind of checked that before and made sure that I had that the brightest side up. And now I'm going to add this in. And really, if I do it right, I should have about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. And yes, my edges are loose, but you know from getting cards, professional, not professional, mine are professional, but we get them at the grocery store or wherever, Hallmark that our cards often have a loose edge like that, so not, not to worry. And so my next step is gonna to be to prepare this little die. And I decided that I was going to sponge some of these items. And so the first thing I'm gonna sponge is this big flower, and I'm gonna use Bumblebee. I want it to blend, but at the same time, I want to have a lot of, I want this a lot darker in the center. Come on, you. This is fun. I love daubers, but I have to admit, I'm in, really in love with our new um, sponge brushes as well. They are beautiful. But this is a much smaller space that I have to aim for, so I'm doing it this way. And you really do want that variegated look. So I want to make sure that I accomplish that. Um, I think next I'm going to do this rose. And I'm going to do that in the polished pink. I don't know how many of you know that when you use your, your sponge daubers... After you've used them, if you just um, wash them gently um, in soapy water, like um, using Dawn detergent, they come very clean and you can start fresh um, on another project. I also can tell you, you can get a lingerie bag or um, like to wash nylons or whatever and put them in there and you can throw them in the dishwasher, you can throw them in the washing machine, but that also works really well. Okay, that pink is very pretty. I'm now going to go for these little blooms. And I think I'll do those in Fresh Freesia. Because there isn't too many of them, but I just want to add that little pop of color. So, let's just kind of gently add this color. We don't need to do too much. It's just there. 
adds a little interest, another color. All right, I think that's all I want to do there. And now I'm ready for my leaves. I'm going to do most of the leaves in soft succulent to keep it real, um, or at least these big ones. I'm going to do in soft succulent, and then I think the smaller items I'm going to do in that darker uh, evening evergreen. So let's just see what we get from doing that. This is such a pretty color. It makes me think of, we used to have a sage color. This is even softer than the old sage, but oh, I've always loved that color. Okay, let's go to our darker green now, which is our evening evergreen. It's a lot of opening and closing. right grab the wrong one let's go to our evening evergreen I don't know what I was thinking sometimes the brain just checks out there we go it's not that much it's the same um, color family I think as our lighter soft succulent a little darker and I want it to be darker so I'm going to give it a few a couple extra pushes there we go all right I think that's ready so let's talk about our next move on that um, I want to put it on this card but I oh I like that oh I like that a lot but I want to put it on with this sprig of of uh, I don't know if it's a laurel what I would call it but I want to make sure I have lots of room and that I get this on the way I want it. I kind of like the, the flower covering up that seam. And I kind of think that I want that one over there. Yep, so let's put those down. Let's see what we can come up with. And well, again, we're going to use those same, wherever I put them. I know they're here in front of me. Oh, I hate when I do that. Hmm. Okay, dance. Well, I'll use my glue dots instead. I've just, you're probably all saying, Nancy, they're right in front of you. Yes, they probably are. As soon as I find them, I'll put them on. But I am going to go ahead. Sheesh. Oh, I see them on the floor. Okay. One there. Do this again. There we go. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then add my other sprig. Well, I guess I could do it this way. Nearly fell off my chair. There we go. Okay. So, add a couple little magic dots to this little item. So I'm going to kind of just add this right there. Now, all I have to do is put this little piece on. And I'm, again, the same thing. I've got to put it 
where we've got seams where it's not going to show all that much. But that it's still well anchored to the project. Hmm. There we go. Um, so anyway, I think when I was talking about my in color club and I lost, I got, got so focused on my card, I stopped talking about the in color club. The in color club has now, this will have completed the first two cycles. In other words, they will have done um, fresh freesia and um, evening evergreen. This cl club continues throughout the year. If you join, you join where the first folks are at. But you can continue um, and you will get your, um, which is really cool, you will um, continue through the, the cycle until you have had all of your particular colors. And so each month there's a color, as I already said, and it's, it's pretty fun because it's a great way to collect the colors that you're going to be using and... Um, it's, um, you get to make lots of cards. And oh, and the uh, stamp set that I use, you may already have, or you may have one you want to substitute for it. But what's really cool is that you can, um, I'm heating again, just so you know. Um, but if you wish to buy the one that I used, I offer it to you with free shipping and tax. And so it's about an 18% discount, besides getting the bundle price. Um, so it's a really great way to go um, to to increase your collection of great stamps as well as great colors. What's in the In Color Club? Well, the In Color Club, uh, each, each month the folks that are in this club will get um, a ream of paper, uh, the, the um, st uh, stamp pad, the uh, re-inker and a set of alcohol blends um, which is wonderful and then they also get a kit to make eight cards uh, to each of four different designs um, it's a five-month commitment you join you stay with you do this each month and at the end of the five months I also send to you um, a package of, of um, gems in color gems as well as I love this part uh, the designer series papers that goes with the in colors as well so it's a great bargain and it's fun and we all like fun so what i'm going to color because I it's only going to fit on this little tiny um, label is just so sorry for your loss and i'm going to aim and try you know how that is hopefully i won't cry that would be sad when i'm filming that's what I wanted so now I'm going to add this kind of across the top and I am going to um, do that with um, dimensionals because I want it to be to stand up above the other the other pieces so let's just do this real easily This is going to be a pretty card. I'm, I'm feeling the love already. Okay, so we're going to do it about like that. Okay, and then I told you I had this, um, the three strands, and I want to make a nice big bow. And the nice thing about this twine is that it is a nice um, thickness so it's really easy to get a good bow so I'm just gonna untwist maybe and get this as pretty as I can 
you know, ribbon, twine, it all has its own character, its own, it seems like it has its own mind. Aha, there we go. So when I think I've got it where I want it, I'm going to just trim it off. But I wanted, I wanted more dimension on this card, so that's why I did the three. And I think I'm going to put a nice solid glue dot one of these because they're a little bit bigger and I also think I'm trying to decide which will be the best side to do I know I want more than one because this twine is heavy so I'm going to kind of squeeze it and roll it up don't take off on me come on there we go there we go Uh, stuff loves my fingernails. All right, I'm going to add this to my card. And then I told you I have these great gems. And I think we are going to add some beautiful gems up here. I have a funny little spot there, so I have to tell you, I'm putting a little gem there just to make it ever so gentle. Okay, there is my card for today. And it took very few items out of my own stash, and that's the beauty of Paper Pumpkin. You may not always like their first designs, but the materials they send us are so much fun, and I think they're so versatile. We can make lots of things. This probably was my absolute favorite paper pumpkin ever. Um, the vellum was beautiful. The colors were beautiful. I loved these sprigs that came with it. I mean, it in general, it was just a beautiful um, set. The next one that is uh, is like a camping series, and I haven't even opened it yet. Just came yesterday, and I'm kind of anxious. But my little grandson, who loved the baseball said he wouldn't mind coming over and helping me with that. So maybe there's some fun grandkid times in that one as well. So there's that card. Oh, so we do have shenanigans. And we have the chips here. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to mix them all up. And then you can see I'm not looking at the bowl. So... I have taken one and it's in my hand but before I tell you I'm going to tease you a little bit oops just a minute there we go no nope, maybe not I'm trying to bring back the the uh, first picture there we go um, I'm going to tell you that how do you get um, chips in the in the bowl well Every time you watch a video, you come to my website and or my Facebook Live and you are watching, I hope you make a comment because that comment um, gives you an entry in the summer shenanigans. If you participate in a class, whether it's online or it's face-to-face, uh, -face, you get a chip in the bowl. If you place an order of $50 or more, it's a chip in the bowl. Um, let's see, what other things do you have to get chips for? YouTube ha has a place to make comments and so does the um, my blog. So any of those places, if you leave comments, you get a chip. Now, multiple comments on the same topic only get one chip, just so you know. And today, uh, I'm gonna tell you that the, um, the, uh, the gift from me is a pack is paper and gems that are beautiful. Of course they are. And I will be sending it to your home so, um, without further ado, let's find out who got this one. Oh my gosh, it's it's a Christy Christian Savage. So, she is one of my face to face customers, and boy, she's been really active lately. Um, she's been taking online classes as well as face to face classes, and I want to say a big thing thank you to Christian and um, um, or excuse me, Christine, and we will get this right out to her. Um, thanks, Christine, for all your support um, over the last few years. You have been a great customer. 
The rest of you, remember that every chip that's in this bowl, every chip, um, I'm going to shake it again. Go, it, I save them in a bag, and they all go in the, uh, the grand finale on uh, September 20th, and that will be a $50 gift certificate to shop in my store. So I, I hope you will participate. Um, you're already participating by, by being here right now, but continue to uh, join me on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4. And I will be back uh, on Thursday at 4, although I think I'm going to be trying something new. And, and you should know in advance, so it's no surprise. Thursday, I have to go to um, another city to babysit my, my grandson. And uh, so I am going to schedule this in advance. And I'll be watching to make sure it gets on there. But I just wanted you to know that I, will, I probably will film it tomorrow and then schedule it to go on um Thursday. So it's going to be exciting for me because it, I have not really not done that before. And, uh, and like I say, I will continue to hopefully come up with some fun designs and things that you'd like to see. It's I should tell you that next month um, I'm really focusing on the peaches, um, pretty as a peach. And uh, so you'll start to see cards having to do with the peaches. Um, so get excited, look forward to it. Uh, I am. And uh, and also, you know, we are only, we are now only about 12 days away from the new mini catalog, as well as, um, excuse the, the phone, as well as the celebration. So we'll see you then, and I look forward to joining you on Thursday. Bye now.